Hello, everyone, and welcome to this 35th episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. I am Isaac Sokolik, or NY Ike, on Twitter. And as promised on this episode, we're going to discuss feedback loops in agile and digital transformation. Let's get started. So feedback is really important in agile programs. We know we use feedback to reprioritize our backlogs, to realign our priorities for releases. And in digital transformation programs, the same is true. We use feedback to govern and decide new changing priorities, new types of projects we want to go after and where the market is going. Now, when I think of feedback, I think of several different types of feedback. I start with customer and markets. This gets into the satisfaction of end users using our product. We use usage data to see how they're using the product and what parts and features are using and whether feedback is telling us that they're having trouble using any capabilities that we've deployed to them. But that's not the only feedback that's important. We also use operational feedback. Are we meeting our service level objectives? Are there defects? Are there administrative back office functions with workflows that are just not performing as well as they need to? And are there support issues, tickets coming in from employees or customer support issues coming in? Those are all feedback mechanisms that will tell us whether we have to adjust our priorities. And then most importantly, we're also going to get feedback around whether our strategy is working. Um, now that can come in the form of brand and strategic level uh, alignment issues about whether what we're doing is actually having an impact, but it's also internal feedback in terms of whether teams are happy and whether stakeholders are seeing the kind of results that they're expecting. So multiple types of feedback, and we use them in different ways, right? We use them to realign our priorities uh, in releases, in sprints. We might change our requirements going into a feature or a story. And then when required, this gets into digital transformation. We might have to rethink our vision. We might realign people onto different teams. We may even change our agile process and improve our ways of working from the feedback that we're getting. And then ultimately, we want to make sure our KPIs are tracking, and if not, we might want to make some adjustments or even talk about changing our KPIs and our success factors. So now we know what types of feedback and how they're being used, but let's talk about who is responsible for this. In an Agile program, there's a lot of different people who are involved uh, from users to markets to executives to subject matter experts who want to feed in requirements and priorities. That's a lot of data and when we, I've talked about this, we all know that our product manager is really there to take all the voices in, take all the feedback, take all the information and start realigning that and coming up with what the vision is and what the prioritized backlog is for that particular feature or for that particular release. So we now know the types of feedback, we know the types of information it's giving us, what decisions we have to make, and ultimately we want to put the product manager in charge, listening to all that feedback and coming up with what the right changes and decisions are coming from them. This is also covered in one of my previous five minutes with NY Ike episodes, what is product management? And I strongly suggest going back and viewing it. You can get to that particular episode at starcio.com slash five NY Ike slash episode four. But now we know a lot about why feedback is so important in agile and digital transformation programs. Now let's take this one step further. So one of the things I often get questions about is what is it about culture change in transformation? And there's a lot of different ways to answer that, but over the last several episodes in blog posts on my blog, blogs.starcio.com, I've been talking about four different aspects of culture change, creating a sense of ur urgency, winning over detractors, creating force multipliers, and then using feedback loops to adjust priorities. And you could see just some of the imagery that I've been using and some of the content that I've been putting out there around how to adjust priorities and how to change culture so that you can get to force multipliers that really drive transformation and how to use agile and citizen data science programs to be able to do that. 
If you want to learn more and get quick access to all that content, all the blog posts, all the videos, please subscribe to my newsletter, starcio.com slash 5nyike slash EP35. I'll send you links to all of this content so you have it all in one place. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the new the channel here, 5 Minutes with NY Ike, and you'll see a new episode for me every two to three weeks. Have a great day and happy transforming.